Hello, um, I'm Leah Vandriad. I'm with the U of A Libraries, and I am our Repository Services Coordinator. Um, I'm here sort of as an interloper or ambassador, as you will, for um, the Institutional Repository Manager community to um, make a plea for something um, from OJS journals, from open access journals in general. So. Um, authors at my institution approach me and they ask me to archive their open access articles in their repository because they want to boost the visibility of their articles. Um, they want multiple entry points to their articles. And also, if we're going to be putting all of their work in the repository, they really want a complete picture of their whole CV in the repository. And this is all really human-driven work. So we can talk about um, the metadata aspects of what I'm about to talk about maybe um, you know, after our everyone's sessions, but I am focused here on what I think is a very basic human mistake that's going on right now. So institutional repository managers make deposits in compliance with the contract law that they observe in the articles um, through a variety of review practices. And this uh, scenario here is really, really common, like really common. So this is a, one paper that has a Creative Commons license on the table of contents, a very forbidding redistribution statement, like actually saying redistribution is forbidden by law, um, as as well as a copyright statement that has no reference to terms of use, period. So I can't deposit this, actually, because I don't know what I should even put in my repository for what the copyright statement is for this article. Um, and like, ain't nobody got time for this. Like, <laughs> like we, then I have to send permission requests to all of these journals who are like, why are you asking me this question? We're open access, you know, and they, or they don't know what a repository is. And, that's surprising. It's just really, really expensive and wasteful for everyone. Um, and our authors certainly don't understand this at all. Like they, I go back to them and say, well, you can't, we, I can't share your article. And they're like, what? It's open access. Of course you can. It makes me look dumb. Um, I don't like that. So then um, in talking to our copyright librarian about this, this also drives her crazy with regard to course packs because instructors come to her all the time saying, can I put this in my course pack? This is an OJS journal. And this is from an email that she sent to me um, about this problem. So there was also a study that was done on this where um, someone analyzed over 300 library published journals in North America and found that fully 76% of them were doing um, like inconsistently expressing copyright and um, in some cases not expressing any terms of use or copyright statements at all whatsoever. So we just have to decide to fix this. Like I really think we just need to together say, okay, like consistent copyright information everywhere in terms of like putting text in all the same places is a completely achievable goal. Um, <laughs> so just to make some specific recommendations for any uh, library publishers or journals here in the room, um, in the about section of your journal, in your author agreement, which you should have as a separate document that would easily be downloaded from your website, easily found, please, not buried in a submission prep checklist. On your table of contents, very importantly, on the articles. The articles are the things that are moving around and flowing all over the place. Um, and have a Sherpa Romeo record. So there's a to-do list, right? Um, library publishers can ask their IR units to analyze their journals with a really risk intolerant lens. And that's what we did at the U of A. Um, and that gave Sonia a chance and a baseline to work from to go to all the journals and say, look, you know, here's the comparison of what you've got uh, up against DOAJ's requirements, up against what we would need for course back sharing, up against what we would need for repository archiving. So there is uh, some good information you can get from that process that will help you move forward and really open up that conversation with editors. Okay, so like I said, we just have to decide to do this. So like, I'm gonna ask you see on, the, on the count of three to shout this with me, okay? One, two, three, consistent copyright information everywhere. Thank you, and just... <laughs>